Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy Gazza9919 here and today what we're going to be doing is basically bringing back to life Norman's engine bay and how we're going to do this is we're just simply going to get we're going to attack most exposed plastic things that are on show and we're going to spray them nice and black so we can kind of maybe lock in a decent colour on them the thing that sort of triggered me on this, which is sort of made me think, you know, I kind of need to do this and make the engine bay look a bit fresher, is because I've, do I've obviously done the grill, and the grill looks amazing. It looks stunning. And then you just look up at the air box and the intake uh, breather hose plastic bit that connects to the front of the grill, and it's just it just looks so tired, and I think it really needs just bringing back to life a bit. So this is what I was talking about, if you look. All of that looks tired and then you've got a nice shiny grill. So I'm thinking this here, maybe this plastic section and this section here. Here is the airbox. Obviously we're going to give it a bit of a clean before we start painting it so we've got no dirt in between the paint and the actual plastic. Right, so I uh, gave it a wipe down and I covered all the holes. Obviously there's going to be a pipe going over this one anyway so it doesn't matter if you get like a little bit of spray on that bit. Um, this one's nice and tucked away anyway but you're not going to see that so if it don't get sprayed. And for this bit, because I kind of want this outside to be sprayed, I've just sort of put a bit of tape on the inside and I think I'm going to like cram a bit of newspaper and just put it in that hole so we don't get anything contaminating that hole. But yeah, I'm just going to wait for this to dry and then we'll go outside, give it a few coats and see how it turns out. So this is the finished product of the airbox after five coats of paint and one coat of clear coat. And if I have to be honest, the result isn't actually that good, I don't think. Um, I know you guys said to use a coat of primer beforehand and you know I should I really should have done that, but the reason I was stubborn behind doing it just the paint and the uh, clear coat is because on the grill I put three coats of paint, one coat of clear coat and that worked out fine. It's it's withstanded through rain, withstanded washers, withstanded extreme heat and it, it hasn't peeled or anything like that so I think it could just be to do with like this is more like a, a coarse plastic whereas the grill is sort of more of a smooth plastic 
I think that could be what it is, but yeah, definitely, if I do this again, I need to take it back and put some primer on beforehand. But let's get it on the car anyway and see what difference it makes, and we'll do some before and afters and stuff like that. So now it's back in the engine bay, it just seemed to match the grill a bit better, but like I said, there are a few other steps that I could have taken, and obviously this thing is next to get the treatment. It doesn't look as bad as it is just because it's wet at the moment, because it's been raining, but it shall be next in line to get the spray treatment. That little section there and that, don't know about the rubber, because you know, you don't usually spray rubber. And now it's a uh, beautiful sunshine, I think it looks a little better. I don't think the rain did it any justice. All in all, I think it looks better than what it did, obviously, you know, um, and it's, I think it still did a better job than what maybe a clean or back to black would have done on the plastic, but I think it, it could have been so much better and you guys will probably agree that if I would have primed that airbox then, and then put the paint on and that and then the click out after that would have been a lot better result but like I said I, I just got I just got overconfident because I did the grill and I thought yeah this will this will look nice and because it's a more coarser plastic I guess that's why it uh, it didn't work so well but we'll see I'm gonna do exactly the same on the little air intake pipe like I said because that's like a really smooth plastic and it's like basically the same sort of plastic as what the grill is so I think that will work fine with the sort of method I've been using, but it's just for like rougher sort of plastics like that where it won't. But and plus, I think I've gone this far. If I just if I start doing that primer on that intake pipe thing now, I'm gonna have one amazing looking intake pipe, and then the rest is just gonna look terrible. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be back to square one again, basically. So in doing my terrible ways it'll at least make it all look the same but that is it for this video guys if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to like subscribe and maybe even hit that bell icon for notifications on future uploads but until the next time guys peace